Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel 100% Pure Alvis. The next vinyl in my collection I want to talk you through today is the 1975 release of Alvis the US Mail. This was released in the United Kingdom in 1975 on the Camden label which was RCA's budget label. So in the United Kingdom itself this did really well for Alvis as an album, sold quite a lot of quantities. The album itself is a budget album, which means it was quite cheap to purchase at the time. You can still purchase this album online on eBay by typing in the catalog number, which is CDS1150. Again, CDS1150. You can get this album for as cheap as five pound and upwards of £20, dependent on condition. So again, as you can see on the front cover there, you've got a great image of Alvis there from the concert Aloha from Hawaii. If I do zoom down for you to give you a closer look at the front cover itself, great image of Alvis there from 73, a well-used image of Alvis from the concert Aloha from Hawaii. Some information there about the tracks on the album itself. I will turn to the back cover for you. And on the back cover, again, just telling you, it was on the RCA label through Camden, again, which was RCA's budget label, Alvis the US Mail, and at the bottom, just some information about Alvis and some of the songs itself. And if I talk you through the track listing, so side one, we have US Mail, We'll Be Together, It's a Matter of Time, Almost in Love, Let's Forget About the Stars, My Little Friend, side two, If I'm a Fool for Loving You, I'll Take Love, Today, Tomorrow and Forever, Let's Be Friends, No More, Burning Love, I feel for a budget release from RCA, such great track listing there on the US Mail, which is your favourite on this release. I love Almost In Love from the film Live A Little, Love A Little. I love Let's Be Friends, No More From Blue Hawaii. My Little Friend, We'll Be Together, I'll Take Love. But uh, if I had to choose a favourite on this vinyl, it would be If I'm A Fool For Loving You. But uh, such a great track listing from this album, the US Mail. Let me turn back to the front cover for you. There was no sleeve design inside. It was just the normal white sleeve. So I will show you the vinyl that comes inside. As you can see, if I do zoom in for you, RCA is on the blue middle with the Camden on the right. So as I was saying, Camden was the budget chain of RCA and again, this vinyl was the original 1975 release of the US Mail. And again, it's an album that I've had in my collection for quite a number of years. So again, a great vinyl to have, very cheap to get a hold of. If you don't have it in your collection, I would certainly go out and try and find it online and add it to your collection. And um, I feel the track list in itself you know, some different songs on there that you wouldn't find on a normal compilation album. So again, thank you for taking the time out to watch my channel. Please keep on subscribing. Please keep on giving me the thumbs up and uh, speak to you all soon and keep Alvis's dream alive. Speak soon, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.